Imagine you have a magic counter that keeps track of how many times a web page or a part of a web page is viewed. It's like a little tracker that counts every time someone looks at a web page or an element on it. This is what we call impressions. Impressions are a way to measure how many times a web page has been viewed. When someone visits a web page, that's counted as one impression. If they visit another page on the same website, that's another impression. So, a single visitor can generate multiple impressions by visiting different pages. Unique impressions, on the other hand, measure the number of different visitors who view a web page. It's like counting how many unique people come to visit a website. Website analytics software can track unique impressions by using cookies that last for 24 hours on visitors' browsers or by resetting the count at the start of each day. By measuring unique impressions, website owners can see how many different people are visiting their site in a day. Impressions are not just for measuring page views, they can also be used to track individual elements on a web page, like advertisements. For example, if a web page has three ad units, each time someone views that page, it will generate three ad impressions. By tracking the number of ad impressions, website owners can see how well their ads are performing. They can also use another fancy term called RPM, which stands for revenue per 1,000 page views, to figure out how much money they're making from ads on their website. So, impressions are like little counters that help website owners understand how many times their web pages or elements on their web pages are being viewed. It's like a magic tool that helps them keep track of how many people are coming to their website and how well their ads are doing. It's a bit like counting how many times someone looks at your favorite toy or your favorite book, but in the digital world.